What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer Day with TK. It's a cool evening here in Finley, Ohio, and Anderson and I are hanging out in the beer shed, checking out some new beers. What's going on, my brother? Oh, you know, just hanging out, drinking some beers, checking out some beers, having a good time. Happy to be back here and chilling in the beer shed again. It's the holiday season, right? Well, we'll see when you get this video up if it's still the holiday season or not. (laughs) (laughs) Time of recording it is. It's between Christmas and New Year's, and we're hanging out. we got a plan. New Year's, we're going to be over at False Court Brewing in Finley, Ohio here. And uh, I'm hoping for a good time. I think it's going to be fun. It'll be a good time. Yeah, they're, they're good dudes. We have a good time anywhere we go. We make our own fun. That's right. We try, right? We'll see what happens. Anyway, the beer we have today is called Con de Bonbon. Now, this is a French-Canadian beer, so I probably butchered that. And I apologize to any Francophiles out there that may be watching this. It's C-A-N-N-E. So, like, was it like the Con Music Festival? You like, sure it's not Cane? Isn't the Can? I didn't say the music festival. I mean, what was it? The Can? Is it a movie festival? Can music? Cons? Yeah, Cons. So maybe it's Con de Bon Bon, which seems to be a translation of Candy Cane, and this is a pastry stout. This is from Beauregard Brossery and Distillery. Now, I know Beauregard because the Flyers used to have a goalie called Stefan Beauregard, so I know that part. So the reason we figured out it was Candy Cane was when I went to look it up on Beer Advocate, I put the search in to mm-hmm. find the, 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 the data on there. The search all of a sudden just popped up tons of pictures of candy canes <laughs> and not anything to do with this beer. <laughs> and, and again, this one is from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. So um, I'm guessing it is a candy cane stout. That's my, my thoughts. It says it's a pastry stout, 10% ABV. Um, there's some stuff on here, but I think it's in, in French. It's all in French because it's from Quebec, Quebec province. Mm-hmm. So I have no idea what that says. Do you know? Do you read... No, French. my son does. I took Spanish in high school. I mean, I, I can kind of interpret some of the words because they're all kind of Latin-based, but probably not. Un stout gourmand riche pour vous mettre dans l'ambiance des fêtes. So, I do know some of these words, right? So, un stout gourmand riche is probably a rich, great, grand stout. You sound like Chevy Chase in... <laughs> National Lampoon's trying to pronounce stuff. When they say we'll get the, the, the dish water for the Americans, right? Scoozy. Scoozy, scoozy. That's a Euro trip, right? I know FET is like a party, isn't it? Like a FET is like a party? No, my son, sure. I don't, my I don't son know. knows French. We're, we're out of our element here. All I'm going to say is this should be I'm, a I'm, minty I'm, stuff. I'm beyond my depth in this. I, I know nothing about, about French or Canadian French. To be fair, the other thing I know about the Quebecois is from Letterkenny. So it is what it is, dude. That's all I know fair about enough. that. That's all I know about it. So I, I got this beer from a friend of mine, Albert. <clears throat> Albert lives in... Is uh, it Albert or is it Albert? Is he a, a Quebecois? He's from Laval, so he would Laval. be... It's near Montreal. It's Laval, outside of Montreal. That, that, that's a hockey city. I know that town. Go ahead. You know Laval? Yeah, I know. I used to be a big hockey fan, so I know a lot of the... The cities that had, like, a hockey club. So the arena we did the show in, in Laval, mm-hmm. it was a hockey arena, but it had, like, multiple other hockey rinks in the arena and, like, four restaurants and all this craziness mm-hmm. inside the arena that were all different, walled off from each other, but you could go between them if you wanted to. Whoa. So it was crazy. So Monomart's playing this arena, mm-hmm. go through a door, and there's, like, some synchronized skating practice or something. Go through another door, and there's a hockey game going on. Go through another door, there's four different restaurants. It's a crazy place. So, I've never been to Montreal, man. I really got to get up there. So, it sounds amazing. So Albert was or there. Laval, sorry, Laval, not Montreal. So Albert was there, came to the show, and, and Albert's a guy <clears throat> I've, I've met throughout the years because mm-hmm. he's a, a, a music fan, a heavy metal fan, and a pick collector. And he always comes to merch, talk to me, whatever, ask me about guitar picks, and we start be, be, be chit chatting. And somehow, he figured out that I like beer. I mean, who doesn't like beer, right? Figured out I like beer. So now he brings me good beers when he can in exchange for uh, guitar picks if I can get him some guitar picks. Sounds like a good trade. So he brought me this beer, and he told me it was just canned a couple weeks before he gave it to me. Mm. And I, I don't remember the exact date because I'm a moron, but it was sometime the end of November. It might have been December 1st, actually. December 1st, December 2nd. But it was... End of November, beginning of December of this year, when I saw him, and he gave me this can of beer and said it was just recently canned. So pretty fresh. This is 
what was it, 28th or so, something like that? It's end of December. It's end of December. So relatively fresh. So at, at, at best, it's a month old. That's cool. Now, I will say this. Ratings-wise, it does well. There's nothing on um, Beer Advocate. Untapped a 3.52, but only 102 check-ins on Untapped. So that's that's pretty low. Pretty so excited to try this. Have you heard of this brewery? No. Beauregard, Nor have I. Beauregard uh, Brasserie and Distillery? No, I haven't. So, I mean, obviously, I mean, they probably make liquor as well if it's a distillery. They must. Um, you know, I, I've had very few Canadian micro brews. It's one thing that does disappoint me. Like, you know, we live maybe an hour and a half here, or I do from the Canadian border. I mean, you're in Cleveland, not far from the Canadian border either. Probably an hour boat ride. Yeah, <laughs> not very far. But, like, the only Canadian stuff you really see here is crap. It's like Labatt and Molson and all that kind of stuff. And, I don't know, it's kind of disappointing that it's not that far away. Now, normally we'll go to, um, we go to Windsor. Windsor. Home of Abdul the Butcher, but we go to we go to Windsor, and what we do, you buy Kokanee. Not anymore. No, now I buy good beers. <laughs> but usually, you can go up there and pick up some cool stuff, right? And but because of the pandemic, I mean, you probably haven't been since before the pandemic. I mean, I think when was twenty nineteen the last time. I, I mean, I've been to Canada extensively this year. Yeah, on tours. On but tour. I mean, like just as a pleasure visit to Windsor, right. which we usually do. We haven't been since was it twenty nineteen? It had to be because we didn't go in twenty twenty because of the pandemic, and I haven't been right. since really. Right. Because they had weird travel restrictions. Was that so. when the weirdo um, border patrol agent couldn't fathom why we would go to Windsor to drink beers? Yeah, yeah, they gave us a real hard time. Like you know, I mean, actually, we just drove from Arizona. Like it's an hour and change away. Literally, if you go to Detroit, the other side of the bridge is Windsor. Right. So we're an hour and a half from Detroit. You know, is it that odd to think someone would go an hour and a half away to hit up some casinos, have some food, and just have fun? Spend a night in a place? No, the last time, I think the last time I was there was me and my wife when they thought, like, I have No, we went after something. that. We Didn't went we? after that. That's when the guy just couldn't fathom why we would go up for the night to drink beers. Yeah. And you were like, have you ever been to Ada? Yeah, that joke didn't go over well. The town we used to live in sucked. There was nothing going on there. It's pretty boring. I and mean, if you've seen Children of the Corn or, or Field of Dreams, that was basically where we lived. Yeah, and he said, why did you come up here? And I was like, you know, we just go up to drink some beers and go to the casino. For one night, I was like, yeah, it's only like a two-hour drive. Like, why not, right? Well, why would you? So I said, have you ever been to Ada? And he looked at me like he wasn't happy with that answer. <laughs> he was I not. <laughs> no, he wasn't happy. Anyway, let's get back let's to Let's get this. into this beer. This is Con de Bon Bon. That's a terrible, terrible pronunciation, but we'll check it out. So it should taste like a candy cane, right? I would think. If it does, I'll be thrilled. Because you know, one of my favorite it's beers. Minty style. Usually, Arche from out of, where do they have? Akron. Akron, yes. They've got two brew houses. There. One's Akron, one's somewhere else. They're both in the greater Akron area. They do a candy cane stout usually each year, which I absolutely love. So I'm hoping that this tastes something like that. Okay. Color. Black as might. Yeah, we've got, we've got the big light up here. I'm holding up to it. I can't see it. A damn thing through it. That's, no, black, that's, as that's black. black as black. So if I go to my Brew HQ chart, it's I'm probably dialing up to 40. I'm going to go to 41 plus. 41 plus. He's inventing new shades. It's right the there at the bottom. 41 Wait, plus. It's He's right. I've never seen this. 41 plus. <laughs> I've never had anyone actually say 40. It could be. <laughs> it's darker than dark. 41 plus. Head, I had a nice one finger head. You got a little bit more beer right there, but it looks yeah, nice. It's still about a finger. It's maybe kind a of thumb. like a, a brownish khaki kind of color. It looks solid. Yeah, yeah. A light khaki. A lot of small, fine bubbles and then some big, big bubbles in your mix. Yeah. Yeah. Let's give it a sniff. Ooh, 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 ooh. I smell that candy cane mint. That mint. Oh, yeah. I love mini beers. Mint. Mint chocolate. Oh, yeah. I'm probably That's... the one dude in the world whose favorite candy is a York peppermint patty. York peppermint patties are delicious. Dude, they underrated, brother. And they're fat-free, apparently, so that's positive. <laughs> that is definitely a strong mint mint chocolate flavor. Wow. Then this will probably be very high on my list. I'm a fan of these. Ready to give it a shot? I am absolutely. After smelling that, I am looking forward to trying this. How do you say cheers in French? Cheers in French? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, the, maybe maybe my good friend Albert will see this in a comment in French how we say cheers. Maybe it's just cheers with a line over the E or something. You know what I'm saying? Let's give it a shot. Now, the body is much lighter than I thought it was going to be. That is kind of watery for a... It says a pastry stout. I expected the body to be more robust. It's, like, it's, it's watery like Guinness is watery. Not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it doesn't really detract. It just wasn't what I expected. The taste... Given the smell, isn't as pepperminty as I thought it would you be. You don't get either. that mint? Oh, I get it. I get it. But given the smell, I thought it was going to be 
huge sucker punch of peppermint. But the body, for how dark the beer is, it is very watery for the body, which it is not a bad thing at all. No, no, no. It's just, it's it, just it, not it's actually, I thought it would be much more viscous, more, more something. Right, and it's not. Body, and I'd say medium. Medium. If. Medium light. Yeah, you're going on medium at best. Yeah. But that flavor, that's, that's a really nice minty. I'll tell you this. It's not a fake toothpaste mint either. No, no, it's no. It's just that's, something that's a, that I hate. I don't like that. Um, it's a nice, natural kind of minty taste. I think you pick up, it's like a nice sweet milk stout with peppermint in it. I mean, it's absolutely delicious. Yeah. And the other thing is, I don't notice the alcohol. I mean, this is a 10% alcohol beer. Oh, shit. I mean, look at that. Yeah. This, no, this is a night ender. I don't smell it. I don't taste it. If you weren't paying attention, this will be like a Mike Tyson upper cup, bro. This will be the end of your evening. And we said this, I don't know when you're going to release these videos, what order. I, but we had. Whenever we can, we, we release them. You know how it is. But at some point, we had a darkness from Surly. <clears throat> and I said that would be a delicious beer to have a uh, beer float. Yeah, this, this would be, would be amazing. Yes. Pouring yeah. this over ice cream would be divine. Mint that chocolate would be... chip ice cream with this. The mint on mint with the darkness and I the mean, richness of this. This would be divine over some ice cream. Even though it was just straight vanilla ice cream, this would be insane. A mint on mint. mint chocolate. I only like like three flavors of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip is top of the list. Mint chocolate chip, sweet black cherry, and occasionally something like a Belgian chocolate. That's about it for me. Yeah, but this is this is really good. Magnificent. Albert, thank you very much. You've knocked it out of the park with this one. This I've is never heard of this great, great, great beer, great gift. Thank you so much. Never heard and of this brewery. It's crazy. We got to try it. So I didn't see, because because of the situation at that show, I never saw him. The end of the night, I come out of the loading dock to where the buses are parked. And he's standing there out in the cold. I mean, it's December, end of November, beginning of December. He's standing there out in the cold with, like, two other random people. And I happened to see him, and he yells at me. I was like, oh, my God, hey, what's going on? And he's like, hey, I got a beer for you, but it's in my car. I'm like, well, we're supposed to be leaving right now. I don't think I have time. Maybe next time I can grab it for you. Then I turn around and walk away, and there's the manager, the band's manager. I get in a conversation with him for, like, 15 minutes. Were you stalling and, so he'd bring you the beer? No, but... But it worked. It worked, because I'm standing in front of the bus. We can't leave because I'm talking to the manager, so nobody can get mad at me. And then all of a sudden, I hear Albert yell, Albert yell at me. I turn around, I was like, I got that beer. I saw you standing there. I got that beer. Here you go, man. See, listen, these, these guys, they kept it quiet. They're used to the cold. They're not worried about that cold. But he was probably out in the cold for a couple hours before they I ran into him. So thank these you very are, much for your perseverance. I appreciate these it. These guys up here are tough. They're not like us where we get a bomb cyclone and cry and there's an inch and a half of snow. These guys are used to the cold, man. But that's other people. That's not us. We come out here in the beer shed and do videos <laughs> when it's the bomb cyclone going on. Hey, but this beer was amazing. I mean, big shout out to, big Al, thumbs up to Albert. Albert. Appreciate it, man. I'm Thank you, Anderson, for sharing this with so me as What well. are you giving it? Big thumbs up, bro. This is magnificent. Big thumbs up. This is right up my alley. And The, the only thing I do maybe make it a, a little more... Body to it, other than that, great beer, magnificent beer. Absolutely. So two thumbs up. Hopefully you like the video. Give us a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, if you got any comments or questions, jump in down below. Have you had anything from the Beauregard Brasserie Distillery? I mean, again, the check-ins are very low. There can't be a lot of people out of the Montreal area that have had these. So I'm very you know, honored to be able to give this a try, man. Hey, till next time. Cheers. Cheers.